everybody welcome back to the channel and another episode of backyard bandits so we have jumped systems we're now at Rawlis here let's have a quick look at the map and show you where we are we jump close to the capella confederation here uh well this wasn't a compelling planet when i first jumped here though it is now though wait it says it's primarily controlled by the torian concordat why is it green then that's interesting Okay, well, it's a four-skull planet anyway. Um, so I jumped to this planet at the end of the last episode, and on my way here, if we go to the mech bay, so I've made a few adjustments, as you can see. Um, first things first, I want to uh, thank Sean Marcellus. Now, if we go to the archer here, he had mentioned that um, perhaps the MRM had its own built-in ammo, uh, and by, by gosh golly, it does. It's got 100 shots. Now, Originally, when I installed this, my assumption was that it didn't have any ammo, which is why I put the half ton of ammo in this, um, which is probably why we kept getting that exclamation mark saying it wasn't allowed to be used. Now, I think what had happened was I updated Rogue Tech, but I didn't launch it twice like you're supposed to in order to get all the, the tool tips. So I probably looked at it and thought, thought it didn't have ammo, so I installed a half ton of uh, MRM ammo. But it's already got a half ton installed, so yeah. So I was able to save a half ton. With that half ton, I dropped in another half ton of dead fire. If we get in close, you know, we'll get a chance to use it. But it's got plenty of ammo for everything else, so I'm not really worried about that. So yeah, that's saved me a half ton of space. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, so that's cleared up. Now we got no exclamation marks on anything. Um, now I did go through, as you notice here, we got the Warhammer 2C up and running. Uh, I did go through and update a lot of the max and just tweak things here or there. I moved stuff around. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go through a couple of them just to kind of show you where we're at. Now, I don't think I did very much for the Avatar, I think. Yeah, so I took the Clan LRM-15 out of the Dervish, put it in here. Uh, and replace the LRM-15 that we had. That saved us a bit of space, so I put in an LRM-5 as well, and a ton of LRM MagPulse ammo, which basically applies a stacking ECM jamming of one, reduces cooling efficiency by 1%, plus one heat damage dealt. You know, so we can use the LRM-5 if we want on that, or a bigger one, depending, but uh, we got a ton of ammo in there for that, so that's good. Uh, I don't remember what else I did here. Um, I may have dropped in another half ton of ammo or something. I can't remember. But we got plenty of, of ammo for this guy. So, yeah, we're good to go here. So that's all I did on this one. I just upped the launchers by five. So that's it for that. Oh, wait, wait sorry. And the Nova CEWS I took out of the, of the Dervish and put it in here as well. And replaced the Guardian ECM. Uh, the Warhammer we'll come back to in a minute. The Archer you've already seen. So the Dervish, we'll just have a quick look at it. It's been modified slightly. Um... So now we've got a, uh, four LRM-10 launchers. So it's an LRM-40 now instead of an LRM-50. Uh, we maintain the two clan LRM-10s in order... It's just a weight issue, right? Without that, um, this thing... We, we wouldn't be able to get that much in here. So we got those two in there. And then, um, you know, because I took a lot of the uh, uh, electronics out of this guy, um, we've got a half ton of... Uh, sorry, a full ton of incendiary ammo, um, a couple tons of LK, some dead fire, normal ammo... That should be plenty of ammo for this guy. It's in the third lance now. And I also dropped in a laser AMS to help it out a bit. Uh, I know we have the AMS flare in there, but that'll help out a little bit here with this guy. Um, the mortis has changed. So let's have a look at this one. We had, what do we have in here? We had two MRM-10 launchers, I think, in here, and something else. I can't remember what it was we had in here. A pair of MRM-10 launchers. Anyway, uh, so I went... Um, when I brought forward the clan, um, or the, uh, Warhammer 2C, uh, it did have two clan SRM-6 launchers still installed on it and some ammo. So, I put those two on here. We had another one from before, so I put that in there in a streak SRM-4. Left the pirate ER medium laser in here. Uh, unfortunately, the melee situation is still the same on this guy. Nothing has changed. Um, I was hoping to up it a bit, but I can't really do that. Uh, and I changed, um... The um, uh, stealth system. We had an angel system in here before. Now we've got the uh, warfare sweep mark two. I'm hoping to use 
both the uh, ECM and the ECCM on the enemies here. Uh, I'm hoping that really helps out. Uh, for ammo, we've got SRM Magpulse, um, ECM jamming of two, which is kind of cool. That reduces cooling efficiency by 2%. So hopefully once this guy gets close, that'll be that'll be very, very useful. We do have Inferno ammo as well, and SRM LK and a half ton of streak ammo for the SRM4 streak. So there's that, and it's running fairly heat efficient. Now I don't always expect that SRM4 to be firing, so uh, we should be pretty good. Now that's heat nine, it was not very much, but that should keep us um, pretty much heat neutral on this guy. Uh, and everything else I left, oh sorry, the, um, I think, I don't remember, I can't remember what sensors we had before, but I put the uh, increased missile range sensors on, on this one just to give the SRMs a little bit better range. Um, so when we're closing with the enemy, we can shoot a little sooner. That's about it. So that's this one. Uh, we, the uh, two bushwhackers remain the same. The, the uh, Victor, I believe, remained the same. The Rifleman we brought forward so we could have another mech in this lance, and I, I want to get a chance to use the Rifleman, so we're going to do that now. Um, this one's got a pair of ER large lasers, pair of ER medium lasers. I mean, it doesn't have that many hard points, so we're kind of stuck with that. Uh, fully double heat sink with the AMS Mark II. Um, that's going to provide uh, a lot of protection for the, the uh, other two mechs in the lance. I'm hoping that all three of these mechs will move together, so the the Rifleman and the Dervish will move in with the uh, um, the Mortis and provide close range support. None of these weapons that they actually carry, uh, I have to worry too much about being in close range, with the exception of the two LRM regular LRM tens on the Dervish. But other than that, uh, th these these should be pretty good. It's backed up by a ton of heat sinks, and the heat sinking is actually quite good on this guy. So. We should be good and uh, fire control system energy. I only had an armored armored cow left for the uh, cockpit, which I had to kind of put in because this thing's got a primitive cockpit. You notice there the the weight goes up, so had to put something in. We're a little bit low on tonnage, but everything is maxed out on here, so it is what it is right now. We'll be making adjustments as we move forward. So this is just to get the mech into battle. So yeah, we've got that going on with this guy. Uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about, oh, yeah, we don't have to worry about that because nothing changed, really. Uh, and then the Warhammer 2C, now we kept almost everything from this guy when we, when I, when I brought it forward. Almost everything was saved. So the SRMs were saved, all four clan ER large lasers were saved, some of the ammunition was saved, the core was gone, so we had to drop a core in. Um, but right now... Uh, this is kind of the loadout. So we've got the four clan ER large lasers. I left them in because I wasn't really sure what else to put in this guy. Uh, we do have a heavy PPC and things like that, but I would rather go until I know what's happening, uh, what I'm planning to do with this. Um, we're going to stick with this. So we've got the four ER large lasers. To back it up, we've got a pair of MRM 10s with Apollo ammo, uh, a fire control system. Um, Artemis for that. Now I want to get a proper fire control system for this um, and get some fire control modules which at which point we'll start to flush out the MRMs and change up the weaponry and things like that. So I jammed what I could in here. So we've got a prototype double heatsink kit in here uh, with a ton of prototype double heatsinks plus an exchanger and our heat is actually not that bad. So we can cycle MRMs on and off to manage the heat a little bit with this guy if we have to. Or just leave a large laser off here and there and that should do it. We've got uh, tracker sensors on this guy so we've got a bonus at long range and also too we've got the advanced optics mark 3 which is great this is going to give us a bon lot of bonus to hit here as well. Now I am going to be looking for these coming up in the future. We definitely need these in a lot of the mechs. So I am looking to get these, even the, just the regular ones that provide advanced zoom, like the Mark 1s or whatever they are. So we're going to try, I bought one actually in the store and I, and I put it in a mech. I can't remember which mech got it, but one of them did. Um, so yeah, that's that. Now, uh, that is the mechs. I don't think I changed anything else. I think everything else pretty much stayed the same. Um, we do still have two Warhammers left to bring forward. Uh, I've decided though, rather than trying to bring one of them forward uh, and leave the parts for the other two, I'm going to wait till we get more Warhammer parts and bring them both forward together because we don't really have the C-bills to be able to, to do that. And you'll see why here in a second. So um, we got 1.5 million in the bank. I had I 
I was down to like 256,000, something like that. Not a lot. And I ended up selling off a bunch of our old cores. I accidentally sold off the three ER pirate medium lasers, the ones that give bonus to melee damage. I thought I was selling just the the regular pirate uh, medium lasers or ER mediums. I can't remember what it, what, it, what it was. One of them doesn't have the bonus. And I thought I was selling those. And right after I sold it, I was scrolling down and I saw the ones, the other ones, the ones that I thought I sold and realized that I sold the wrong ones. So yeah, we lost those. But other than that, I made sure we didn't lose anything that was really important. So, okay, so that being said, um, let's have a look at the command center. Now this is the big problem. We jumped here expecting to have good missions and I got like nothing, nothing at all. So I thought this, w at the time, I think when I jumped, this world was, was under Torian control, but now it's pretty much under um, control of, um, of uh, House Lao, Liao. So we got like almost no missions here. So we've got enough, I think, for the three lances to take these three missions. And then we're going to jump out of here. So we're going to try and do these three missions and then jump. So hopefully we can get enough sea bills. But I had to sell enough here so that I knew we could make our financial report for the end of the month because we are going to have to jump out of here. I could jump right away, but we've got 18 days and I figure we can pull those three missions off. So we're going to try that. So let's go to the command center. We're back to the command center. And let's see which one of these is the toughest. Smash and grab is a recovery. It's a coalition defector for the pirates. So that's going against the Oregon Coalition. Key personnel is an escort mission. Um, sorry, this one is... Let's see. So this is just grabbing the memory core and getting out. So maybe that's good for the, for the primary lance. The key personnel will be for the secondary lance and insurance policy is a battle in the tundra against the Capellan Confederation. Um, we'll see how that goes. We might be able to throw the third lance into that. They're going to be relatively unexperienced or inexperienced. I am going to be moving down... Um, the commander of the second lance and I can't oh my god you think I'd be able to remember her name by now oh barracks let's have a look at the barracks my god this is what happens when you don't play every day right scramble thank right you here. so scramble's going to be moving down to the third lance to take command of the mortis again because she is our melee pilot so she will be taking command of the mortis again much to her chagrin I'm going to shift up everybody up by one uh, in the uh, second land, so Earthquake, Focus, and uh, where are you here? And Swifty are all going to be moving up by one. Um, Good to go. And Squire and Sledge are going to be hitting up the third lance, and I picked up a new pilot, Metalark, who is going to be um, hitting up the second lance. So that guy will be, the, will be in as the last pilot in the second lance, I think. Um, depending on how things go. Uh, I think, you know, with him being part of that, uh, the second lance, I might put him in as the as the archer pilot because he's got tactic six, so that probably help out a little bit. Um, but we'll see how it goes. But right now, let's go to the command center. We're going to take this uh, smash and grab mission. This should be pretty quick, so let's go ahead and do this. If it goes off quick, we'll pull off a second mission today. If not, we'll keep it for another episode. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's just flush these out. I was going to keep them and go for a uh, go for the other mission first, but I want to I want to bring that Warhammer into battle. I want to see what it looks like, see how it operates. So we're going to do that today first. So get the Warhammer in here. Uh, let's get the Black Knight and the Shadowhawk. So I'm interested to see how Arachne does in the Warhammer. Uh, let's see here, Hotshot and Queen B. And let's do this. Alright. Not just a fairy tale. Okay. We dropped a lot farther from this base than you normally would. Normally you drop over here, I think, but I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. 
Yeah, I know, eh? If we had all long-range weapons, it would be fantastic, but we don't. So, there you go. Uh, Alright, where do we need to get... Where's our extraction zone again? You know, you think I would be, like, paying more attention, but... That's just me. Alright, well, we know how this goes. The reinforcements generally come from this side. So my question is, yeah, we should not be... Can we get down over here? Just barely, yeah. So we're going to get down... Can we actually get down off this cliff? Oh, Christ, it's going to take forever. Aye, aye. Moving out. Move out! Wow, that's like full speed, man. Nothing like moving four axes at a time. All right, you know what? I'm going to keep moving forward. Uh, my goal is to... Um, let me just get around this way. It makes a little more sense. So we're going to come down here. Um, we're going to make our way across. I mean, we could hit the... Wa I mean, we could hit it from the water. Yeah, for speed's sake, you know what we're going to do? We're going to follow the road. We'll go down, around, come up this way. Reinforcements, I think, usually come from this side, so let's just see how we do. And I'll see you when we get down there. Copy that. Well, we got enemy contact already, so there's that. Where, though? Oh. Right there. Okay. Moving to position. All right, we can see this guy right away. So I'm going to move down here. Maybe we can get some more sensors on. And we end our turn, and once again, we are unstable. Screw you! Uh-huh. Bullshit. <coughs> Sorry, did I say that out loud? Well, at least we kind of know what they have here. That looks like an assassin. Somebody sitting in the water here? Or does that, we just see that PPC when it comes out into the light. Oh, you guys don't like her, man. So I don't know if they've got turrets. Mech. Self-propelled artillery. Vehicle. Marshall. Looks like an assassin to me, but whatever. Alright, well. Ready for orders. You know you ain't gonna be hitting shit, so let's get you down here. Roger that. Can we get down this way? I think we can. <sighs> you know, this black Let's knight. Go. I think the main lance, we should be looking at keeping this guy, this main lance as a, um, a long range mission lance. And maybe pull the Black Knight out and put it in the second lance. Vehicle, mech. So they got two lances here. Self propelled arty. Ooh, that's a juicy number. We're going to take that. Fire. Roger. Got a lot of guts, I'll give you that. Okay. I'm gonna sprint down to my god, that freaked me out there for a second. I was like, why isn't this working? Okay. Warhammer 2! Look at this thing, man. That's pretty cool looking, I gotta say colors aren't so great they're kind of like you know the normal mechs have kind of got this dirty kind of look to them although the alias thing on these looks way better than this but these look like almost like cut out like cardboard cutout figurines in a way whereas this looks like it's like a plastic figure if you know what I'm talking about 
those of you, those of you who play tabletop, you know what I'm talking about. This one looks. These guys look more cardboardy looking. All right, enough talk. Let's kill. All right, wow. We're gonna go ahead and sensor lock. Let's sensor lock this mech here. Oh, it's out of range, right? There's our range right there. So we can't use that. Gotta pay more attention! Firing. Firing. Alright, some good hits. Well, good kill. Standing by. Prepping for jump. There we go. Get into there. That gives us some more sensors. Let's brace in here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's an Omega. Is that 50? How, is that 150 tons? Somebody was mentioning it. They'd be interested to see how my main lance would do against a, uh, like a five skull and a super heavy mech. So I think that's 150 tons, isn't it? Or maybe it's 100 tons. It's 1641 armor. It's probably around 100 tons. It's a pirate though. SHP hyphen P? Isn't that a pirate version? Oh, that's so raven. Is that a raven? Oh, it's a misery. It's a stalker. <gasps> that's the uh, Solaris version, I think, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken. Damage minimal. All right, uh, I'm going to reserve you. I want Hopper to move a little closer first. I've got your back. You do? Get my front too, buddy. Okay, so I think we're going to go after the Misery Loves Company. That's some pretty good targeting. Now, yeah, we're not going to go in center. We're going to go Artemis. And let's ch let's start thinking about this. Let's go with some EMP on this guy too. Although I think even just firing five, it's not going to make that much difference. So let's just go this route. I am going to go Warlord though. Hammer it a little more. Roger. It is standing in the open, so. Ooh. May Hopper take your liking to you and blow you up real good. What's this guy? That's the Marshal. What's this guy? Full crumb. Heavy TBM-10 carrier. Yeah, I don't think we go in for a strike on this. Can we get to a point where they can't really see us? I don't think so. Let's get to here. Confirm. Then let's go ahead and lay down some law with the tag Baraji. I'm going to center it more on this guy though. I don't think he'll be able to run out of this the uh, circle here. Confirm. Beautiful. He might be able to get out of there. Yeah, he'll be able to get out. I got a feeling, buddy, you ain't going to be doing shit this match. Affirmative. Affirmative is right. Maybe we need to look at putting a supercharger or something on it. I don't know. Something. Comes the TBMs. Oh, get fucked. My heat sinks can't vent fast enough. I'm taking damage. Yeah, we're going to go after that guy. Don't worry. Yeah, she's unsteady now too. That sucks. Fuck off with that stupid. I, 
I don't want to run through these spore clouds because it increases the damage against us, but oh, it makes us harder to hit. Yeah, well, whatever. Fulcrum, where is the... Oh, can't hit that guy. Tactical missile carrier. I guess we better fire at this guy. Got to hit with more than one. Damn, Beagle's on 15. That is not good. Hopper's what, 19? Okay, we're going to go out to the TBM carrier. This is the first time she's really run into trouble. Going to have to keep an eye on those TBM carriers, I guess. Yeah, you just brace right there, buddy. Yeah, screw off. Quick draw, okay. Talk to me. On my way. As much as I want to shoot that Omega in the back. Eight and a half. Thirty-two, huh? That's a waste of a shot there. That's actually pretty good. He's got dead fire ammo keyed up in there. Let's hammer this guy. Ready to get it on. Yeah, well, you know, oh, you can actually throw your tag up this time, eh? Look at that. Yeah. Tag that sniper that's lying on the shore. That's a good idea. <sighs> it's frustrating. Ooh, what was that? Commander. Okay, I'm going to get you to walk it down. Slightly better chance to hit. I think we're going to go against the, the uh, tactical missile carrier again. Fire. Okay, three hits this time. That's nice. Take that. I mean, not that we have a choice, but... Okay. At least we're getting him to shoot at us. That's a good idea. Lay off B. Commander. Let's do that. Phantom mech doesn't seem to matter because they even with a ton of evasion they still seem to be able to go after her here. Engaging jump jet. Gonna go all the way over here. Too high. Commencing shutdown. Yeah. Hopefully you're far enough away. Okay, did we hit anybody? Yeah, we did. I think we hit the TBM carrier. Okay, with her out of action though, we lost our sight with these guys, so we're going to have to really push forward hard. A TBM carrier is going to be nasty if we let it get a shots at us, so we're going to have to spread out big time. Systems holding. Barely a scratch. Marshall McLuhan giving us a shot. Taking even more heat damage. Over the red line. Heat damage. Full speed, no target. Once this guy gets it within range, it's gonna be trouble for them. You know the other thing we could do though. Let's just go ahead and fire these. Switch it to acid though. The, the other thing we could do much as I hate the thought of it, is take out that um, to the heavy snub nose goss and put in one of those heavy rack fives. Could go ahead and do that. Ok, 
Okay. Keep shooting for that missile carrier. That's the fulcrum. TBM's 12 now. 16 with the uh, incendiary. So let's go after it with incendiaries. We're not gonna, it's not gonna yield much damage, but... Doesn't have much armor, though. Keep moving forward. So we can get a lock on somebody now. Yeah, we can. Let's lock up this missile carrier. Now let's target it. Yeah, such a huge difference. Went from 40 to 77, so that's beautiful. Let's fire them. Three hits. Looks like we penned. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, screw you. Yeah, it's going to be interesting moving forward to see if, how viable that Burkut is. Especially against heat damage. Maybe we should get... Hmm, I don't know. The T-Samp is nice, but if we're going to have issues using it moving forward, i got to figure out what else is going to go in there. I mean, we could put some coolant flush in there. I don't know. Let me think about it. If you guys got suggestions, drop some comments in the comment section down below. I mean, this is only one mission that she's had a problem with, so... Light damaged. Holding firm. Yeah, not, not have the ability to Warlord 2, losing that... It's kind of difficult. Although I kind of agree with the, um, okay, who are we going to go after? Actually, let's reserve, let's reserve until Arachne goes, because then she can sensor lock somebody and we'll target that guy. Okay, let's move and shug her off. Uh, shirk off our um, instability here. What do we got here? 28. Who do we want to shoot at, though? Is that missile carrier visible? I know this guy is. That's probably going to be a kill shot. There's the quick draw. Okay, is it in range, though? There's the question. Oh, we got way two turns anyway. Alright, let's take the kill shot, see if we can kill this guy. Nope. Well, I'll take that back. Why do I even talk sometimes? Okay, she's gonna shut down, but we're gonna get the hell out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Vigilance first. Phantom mech. Jump. Back here. Yeah. Really hurt. Ah, crap. How can I help? Okay, I don't see that TBM carrier anywhere. This guy's the real threat, I think. Ballistic and two energy, so I think yeah, this this guy's got two heavy um, PPCs. And probably that cannon, whatever the hell that cannon is. So I'm going to try and keep him heated up back there. That's a, that's, that's a mech for a hot shot to wreck. Full speed! Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, moving those four squares, man. Let's get in there. Quick draw it is, I guess. A little bit of acid. Give him some acid reflux. Okay, at least our two mechs at the bottom there are in the water. 
So if we get hit with the TBMs, at least we'll be able to cool off a little quicker. Although there's sensors will be able to pick up on us easier that we're because we're in the water. But um, the cooling that the water gives us, I think, outweighs that. I don't know whether I'm glad now that we spawn way back here or if I wish we spawned closer. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, let's warlord it up. Make it even better. And firing. Copy that. Commander. On my way. Double time. Okay, got to move as much as we can to get max evasion going. <laughs> Let's target this guy. I think this one is really the threat. Ooh, yeah, beautiful three hits. 55 damage. That's pretty good for a, for a large laser. Yeah, see, you can't, won't be able to fire everything for the next little while. But keep them nice and toasty. Standing by. Ah, man, that's a full sprint, eh? I don't think we want to go around this way. I think we want to go this way. Let's go this way. Acknowledged. It's probably going to end up being quicker, even though it doesn't seem like it at first. Same guy. Copy that. That didn't hit. Aye, aye. I wish there was a way we could just leave the mech off rather than having to restart. Just let it sit there, leave it turned off, and it would drop the heat even more. Look at that, man. Good thing we're in the water. Good thing we're in the water. Now we got visual and a TBM carrier. Hopefully we can take it out. If we get a little closer. Yeah, it's disappeared again. Yeah, let's attack that guy then. Makes me wonder even if we can get close. Do we want to? We're missing the AMS of the archer too. Crap. Gotta find a way to work that into this lance. Talk to me. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Awaiting orders. Like, I wish there was just a way we could just leave it off so that it would drop more heat, but Powered up. the whole having to continuously restart is bizarre. Minimal damage on that hit. Yes, Commander. That's what I was waiting for. Interesting. Let's see if he's in our range now. <laughs> see if we can get him. One good shot with the snub nose. Nope. Alright, we hit with one of the expulses though, that's alright. At least it's something. You know what your job is. That's why I, that's why I held off firing. Crap, not enough. Oh, 
Okay, good. He stayed in range. He stayed in sight. That's the fulcrum. Barely hit, Commander. Twenty-one. Wow, these guys are fast this turn. Quick draw? Yeah. Yeah, you keep moving in, buddy. <laughs> you just keep moving in. I got a little surprise for you. <laughs> keep moving forward. I'm good with that. Oh, nice. It's all because she's hiding in the uh, behind that rock. Where's the TBM carrier? Here it is. Now, I should should have switched to uh, Artemis last time. I thought about that right after I fired. Affirmative. Beautiful. Now we don't have to worry about the heat. Shredded. Vehicle down. Okay, I got to find a way to work that... Uh, Advanced AMS back into the avatar. I guess it's going to be the LRM5 coming out in some ammo. It's got to go back in. Coordinates received. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, this, I feel so sorry for this guy. What did we hit? His leg. Ooh, okay, well. Yes, Commander. Let's get you back in the shit, girl. Gonna do it cautiously though. I'll break him in two. Okay, nice. Unfortunately that Omega's yours, girl. I hate to say that, but it is what it is. That's a challenge, man. Hotshot, he's, ta he's challenging you. Yeah, I still think the heating affects just a little bit too much. You know, now it's all about the heat. Like, if you built your lance solely around dishing out the maximum amount of heat to opponents... Talk to me. I mean, I guess it would be even... Uh, it would probably be more difficult later game, but early game, if that's all you're doing is dishing out heat? Could EMP this guy. I don't know if it's going to really make a difference. Let's just do it. Target confirmed. What the fuck? It's kind of bizarre movement. I guess I was up on the rock, I guess? I don't know. Down to 67, but we're still taking it. Taking the shot. Oh, man. See ya. You might survive one, but you ain't surviving two. Not at 60 tons. Uh huh. KB. Engaging jump jet. Yes, Commander. Okay, we should lose all our heat generally off of this. Yeah. Firing. Oh wait. Is he in range? He's not. Although we can sensor lock the marshal and the fulcrum. 
Let's lock the fulcrum. I've got a sensor lock. Thank you. Now let's shoot this guy. Because he's the only guy we can shoot. Two looks like two building hits and one hit on him. So they got the height advantage now. They're still not all that accurate. I mean, they're doing okay. They don't got a ton of accuracy. I think if we can get right up behind that behemoth, get the T-Samp on them. Uh-huh. You know who the terror is. He's coming for you too, by the way. How can I help? Uh, can we get that fulcrum? What's the chance in the fulcrum now? 48, eh? 55 with the Artemis. How much armor does he have? A lot in the front. I don't know which direction he's facing us. If we can get him from the side or the back. Well, if we're shooting him from the front, we'll definitely hit one of the sides. Uh, do we want to go after him? Let's just take a look around here. It is really the best chance, so let's do that. Let's use some Artemis. We'll put the EMP on too. I don't know if it's really going to have that much effect. We're going to Warlord this as well. Let's ha let's hammer him. I'm firing on the enemy. Got something you want done? Hardcore, buddy. You know the score. Wow. Yep, fire on this guy, please. Switch this to incendiary. Okay, a couple laser hits, that's nice. Commander. Roger that. Let's kill this fulcrum if we can. Alright, strip in the armor. Okay, you got one hit on us. I'd be more worried about that Omega if he was hitting every single turn. But he's not doing that, so I'm going to do a Phantom Mech on this. Confirm. Um, I'm going to Vigilance, because I want to be going before these guys. Let's get into here. Man, she's taking a ton of armor. A ton of armor damage. Let's put the Barrage on him, if we can, I don't know. We get the T Samp? We did, didn't we? Or did we? The asset is in hand, Commander. Good work. Oh, well, we missed with the barrage, but at least it's close. Look at the evasion, man. That's crazy. At least they got like a 0.9% chance to hit her, hit her now. I'm so used to be the, being the one that gets the 0.9% chance to hit. It's under attack. Really? Because I couldn't tell, Darius. Fire and maneuver is the name of the game. Firing at enemies. Beautiful. Get some heat on him. He's got a lot of heat sinking though, I could tell. Let's get as far as we that's into a minefield. Ooh, that's not good. Lifting up. Alright. Stability's back. Beautiful. There's our target. Alright, one hit. Nice leg hit. <laughs> it's nice that we got everything out of that building before we destroyed it. Really, eh? Alright, let's go this route. Locked on target. Looks like we got a couple of EMP shots on him. Yeah, he's taking the barrage. What's up, boss? Not a damn thing he can do about it. No shooting, just running. 
Running and shooting, please. Yeah, yep, here it comes. Oh, nice shot. 151 damage. Beautiful. A little bit of heat. Takes the barrage. All right, stripping armor. That's nice. Yeah, reconsider your life choices, buddy. All right, B, you're done for the day? Mm, maybe not. We might want you to get a little closer. Keep closing on this guy. He's got ar armor, but not enough to save you. Not enough to save him from this. Oh, again! Scored a critical hit. I've got your back. Let's keep on this guy. Here it comes. Aye, aye. Take that as a lesson. Panicking. Yes, He's panicking. Moving to position. See if we can get him to bail. Hit him with all this stuff. Oh shit. Wrong guy. Standing by. Chalk that up to miscommunication. That's gonna be my new handle, miscommunication. Actually, I should, that should be the name of my, uh, the commander of my next, uh, series, Miscommunication. Rear armor it is. Crap. Well, we got one more shot before we jump out. More house Arano. See, I don't know if I would go with a mech with, like, like just this is like a heavy mech, right? It's probably a hundred tons. So if it's a hundred ton mech and it's got three weapon systems like that and it can't hit, it's useless. It really is useless. So I don't think I'm gonna ever go back to that kind of build in the future. I, I know I did some of these builds in the past. I don't think I will though. T Sam Pit, beautiful. Panicking again. Can you get somewhere where they can't see you? Let's get some range on him. Roger that. He can see you, but he won't hit you there. How can I help? Well, in theory, he won't. All right, we're running short of uh, Artemis. Yeah, let's go this route. We'll heat him up. Still only panicking, huh? Good to go. I'm gonna leave him for the uh Yeah, I'm gonna leave him for the um Black Knight. And we're gonna go after this guy. Sensors locked on. I love the fact that you can sensor lock and fire at the same guy. That's awesome. Good to go. Ooh, three hits, nice. A fair amount of Apollo, beautiful. Yeah, I'm not minding the loadout of the uh, Warhammer. I think we could tweak it to be better. Receiving you. I did have to drop a 320 core in it though, to give it some speed to be able to keep up with the rest of our mechs. Although it's moving faster than the Black Knight. All right, buddy, hammer him. Oh yeah, where was that? Right torso? Okay. Blew right through to the CT and killed him. That's a kill. You got that right. Yeah, you run. Orders. I think that guy's out of ammo. If I had to guess. Out. 
If I had to guess, he's totally out of ammo. Okay, we're going to push the Black Knight up the hill here. Let's get this guy. Keep remembering the warlord. Here it comes. Damn you for making me do this. Yeah, don't be upset. Censored impaired times LRM four. Yes, There's got to be a cap for that, though. Like, if it's stacking. And let's say I fire LR, like an LRM 50 at him and like 40 of them hit. It's not going to be censored in pair times 40, is it? Oh, you're hitting with that snub. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah, I think we yep, leave that. I think it would be nice to have uh. like specialty lances. And I think in the future maybe we do mixes and matches. Like if we're going to do a city fight, that Black Knight's going to be like horrifically devastating. But for like, you know, long range battles it's completely useless until we can close. How can I help? Well, this guy's still got ammo. Oh, we're out of uh Right. Let's go this route. Let's hit him with a bunch of EMP. Just to see how much it stacks. That was a critical hit, lad. I don't know. That was four, it looked like. Give this guy the what for. Oh, man. You and that snub, man. Beautiful synergy. Critical hit, Commander. See that. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. She's got smoke coming off her. Uh, not bad chances on that guy. It's the same for both. Let's see if we can claim this guy. Ah, uh, he's panicking. Soften him up a little bit. Affirmative. Let's get into here. Get that initiative, the juicy initiative for next turn. Firing. Firing at enemy. Beautiful. Yeah, you had enough. Talk to me. All right, Hopper. Don't. Well, you know what? Just yeah. Let's get Queen Bee out of there first. Let's get her out of there first. Okay, that's nice. Okay, B. Commander. Copy that. Got something you want done? All right, shot hot. Can you get over here? Double time. Let's go. Yep. Certainly doesn't seem like double time, does it? Seems like halftime to me. All right, let's shoot this guy. Oh, we got sensor lock back. Let's use that. Welcome to the jungle. Haha, <laughs> get it? 
because we're in the jungle? That's funny right there. That sucks that we uh, miss with three of them. Three of the lasers, that is. Uh, screw the EMP, let's go all incendiary. Here it comes. There you go. Pilot ejected. Look at this thing. Still floating through the air. See ya! We're out of here. Alright. Contract payment increased by 1500 I don't know why it's such a... an increase by 10%. So... I don't know why it's like 1500 Whatever. I love it to be 1500% though. That would be kind of cool. Alright. Good XP. It's nice. Unfortunately, our, um, Queen Bee took a hit. Yeah, Omega's 100 ton. Three ballistic, two laser, and two missile. Alright, I'm going to check what's down here. AOE Rocket 10, BFG 9000. That's the 20 ton. Oh, come on. 350 damage. Give me a break. Come on. Like, that weapon is ridiculous. I know it's... Okay, look. I know it's a nice weapon. It's 20 tons. Two. It's only two slots, though. Maybe it doesn't... You know what? Maybe it only fits on that one mech. Maybe you can't actually place it on anybody else. Because two slots, really? It's probably got to be on the one mech. In which case, if we take this, we got to sell it. Which would make sense. But still, like 350 damage. Give me a break. Like, I think, I thought it was a 150. Like, we had, like it was last time, or 200 or something, I thought it was. But 350, come on. I guess if you're fighting super heavy versus super heavy, sure, but... Okay, multiple firing modes. You can fire twice. That's kind of cool. Removes mines. Hellstorm artillery. 18 tons. Recoil of 3. Fires 3 times, eh? Select fire rate of 1 to 6 shots. That's cool. Mortar 2. Plasma cannon. Thunderbolt tens. I mean, we do, don't we have Thunderbolt tens? We got one. Cooling jacket minus one recoil minus fifteen percent weapon heat. Now that's almost worth taking. Right away. Just gonna drop that in there for now, just as a thing. XL for money. I mean, we could just go money. Oh, fire control system Goss. I should probably take this to. Just going to drop it in there for now. See what else we have down here. Defense gyro. Uh, patchwork tier 3. That's kind of nice. Pirate fire control system. Plus 1 accuracy. 10% weapon heat generated. Now see, this is a kind of a... One of those things you want to put on a, um, a Goss build. Right? You put it on a Goss rifle build because 10% weapon heat generated is nothing. Right? Plus 1 recoil with ranged weapons. Well, I don't think Goss rifles have recoil, if I'm not mistaken. Or they might have a really low recoil. Where are we down here? Up here. Goss rifle. Um, yeah, there's no recoil. Right? So, you take the pirate fire control system. You throw it on a Goss build. Right? With some long range um, targeting computer stuff to go with it. You throw on the um, tracker sensors for the bonus distance at long range. And thing, that just becomes an insane long-range Goss build. God, I'd be, I'm going to drop that there for now. Just for now. Because this, these two together... Well, you can't use this together with this. Do we have any Goss ammo? We've got three. We've got lots of Goss rifles. So we could go with a Goss build somewhere along the way. Tons of LRM ammo. Mortar ammo. Okay. LRM Hydra. This is the first time we've seen Hydra. 
I'm going to drop the Hydra in. I want to see how it plays out. Railgun ammo. Okay, so the reason why I'm not taking the Omega um, is because I'm kind of avoiding 100 ton mechs right now. I know it's kind of weird to say that because one more of these and we'd have a 100 ton mech. But I'm kind of avoiding them right now. I want to work towards like 80 ton and um, get a good uh, layout going with that and see how it works out. Uh, we still have the Klein XL engine. I need to drop in something. I did try to drop it into the um, uh, Warhammer 2C and it it went from like 400 some odd thousand to over three, it was like three and a half million right away. So it's about three million to put that in an 80 ton mech. So it's really expensive and to do a good 100 ton mech you want to put an XL engine in it. I mean you can you can go without it but Anyway, I'm looking for components right now. We do have a light engine still. Oh, we don't. We actually use that, right? Yeah, because that's on the Archer, actually. And I don't want regular XL engines. I want Clan XL, so. All right, we're going to go this route, because I think these three we can get into play right away. Well, maybe not this, but these guys we can get into play right away. Although we might be able to drop this. Let me think about this. We might be able to put that in something. Let's confirm this. All right, we got the Hellstorm Artillery LRM-15, which we can get rid of. MML 9s, which are kind of nice. Tag, we're going to hang on to, even though we got... Well, it's trash. We've got three of them. Thunderbolt 10s, I'm going to hold on to because I'm kind of liking that that idea of the Thunderbolt build. They are six tons only. So, but it did really well. 265 core, we'll hold on to for now. Two Guardian ECMs. We've got plenty of these, so I'm just going to sell these right away. Thunder Augmented, we're going to keep. And the TBM Kinetic Kill, we're going to keep as well. Uh, times two to through armor critical chance. That's kind of cool. 25% to all range brackets. Interesting. 50% damage dealt to armor. All right. Well, we'll hang on to those as well. We might we may be doing a TBM build at some point in the future. So let's hold these. All right. 143,000. Yeah. A lot of that's going to be to the uh, sh the uh, Shadowhawk, I think. Oh, Warhammer took a lot of damage too. Let's put that up to the top leave that like that okay I'm gonna leave this episode here guys turn down my AC for a bit get a little bit cooled off and then record a second episode we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, the other five skull mission the escort next um, and we're gonna put our second lance into use and go ahead and do that one but for now I'm gonna leave this episode here I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're not too di too disappointed we didn't take those three Omega parts we can't put a full Omega together anyway but I figure we take stuff that I know we can use Anyway, leaving the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.